Hey guys, welcome back to Office 365 Concepts. In this video, we are going to explore more settings and features of Teams channels. We will learn how to send emails to a channel. We will learn how to set moderators for a channel, how to upload files in a channel and how to collaborate, and how to open Teams files in SharePoint site. In the last video, we learned how to start a conversation in a Teams channel. Now let's understand how to send an email to a Teams channel. Every Teams channel has an email address assigned. If you want to see the email address of a channel, click three dots next to any channel and click get email address. Here you can see the email address for this channel and from here you can copy it. As an owner of this channel, you can manage who can send emails to this channel. If you click advanced settings, you can see three options here. From here, you can manage if anyone can send emails to this email address, only members of this team can send emails to this channel, or only the domains that you specify here can send emails to this channel. If I want to allow only specific domains to send emails to this channel, I need to turn this option on, and here I need to specify the domain. So let's send an email to this channel. Let's copy this email address and let's go to OWA for one of the users who is member of the team and let's compose a new email. We will paste the email address of the channel here. Let's compose the message. And let's send the email. Now go back to the Teams application and go to the channel. And here we can see the email that Bob Ross has sent to this channel. If you want to see the original email, you can click view original email. This will download the email sample and you can open this file with Outlook. And like this, you can view the original email with an Outlook client. If a member of this team wants to reply to this email, he can simply click reply, type the message and click send. And this way the members of the team can reply to this email. Next, we will see how to set a moderator for a channel. By default, standard and shared channels are non-moderated. That means any member of the team can post messages in a standard and shared channels and they can reply to the chat as well. Private channels do not need a moderator because in a private channel, we add particular members who can be part of the team and the channel. Also, you cannot set a moderator for the general channel and private channel. If you go to a private channel settings, for example, we have this private channel and go to manage channel settings. We do not see the option to manage a moderator. If you go to settings of a general channel, you can only manage the settings who can post messages in this channel, but there is no option to set a moderator. But if you go to a channel, which is a standard or shared channel, go to manage channel. And here you can see under moderation, you can set the moderator. So let's talk about these settings in detail. By default, every owner and member of the team is allowed to post a message in a channel. If you want to restrict guest users from posting a message in a channel, you can select this option. Everyone except guest can start a new post. But if you want to set a moderator for this channel, you will click this drop down under channel moderation and turn this option to on. By default, the owners of the team will be moderators. But if you want to make someone else a moderator, you can click manage in this search box search for the user who is a member of the team. For example, Bob Ross is a member of test Two team. Click on this user and click done. So now owner of the team, owner of the test Two team and Bob Ross, who is a member of test Two team will become moderator for channel two. If you want to remove a member from the moderation, you can click on the manage and click on this cross and click done. So now Bob Ross is removed from this moderation. Here we can see a message who can start a new post. Only moderators. That means only the owners of this team can start a post in this particular channel. 
the members of the team will not be able to start the post, but they can reply to the post. Let me show you this practically. Let me switch teams to another user, Bob Ross. Go to teams and channel two. And here we can see the message at the bottom. Only channel moderators can post in this channel. Let's switch back to concepts. Let's go to teams and channel two. Let's type a message here. Click post. Let's switch to Bob Ross. Go to teams. Channel two and here we have the option to reply. So Bob Ross can reply to this message, but again, he cannot start a new post or new conversation. Next, we will see how to upload files in a channel. Let me switch back to concepts, which is the honor of the team. And let's go to teams section. Every team's channel has a file tab where you can upload the documents. To upload a file to the channel, you will go to files. To upload a file to this channel, you will click upload files. Select the files that you want to upload. And click open and this way you can upload files in a team's channel. Now every member and owner of this channel will have access to this file. Similarly, you can add other files here like PDF files, Excel files or word files and so on. These documents will be available for all the members and honor of this channel. They can work together on the same document, which is called co-authoring. You can also add notes in a channel by clicking on notes and you can create notes here. If you want to add more tabs in a channel, click on this plus icon and here you can see the list of the applications that you can add in a channel. Every Microsoft team has an associated SharePoint site. The files or the documents that you upload in a team's channel gets uploaded to SharePoint site automatically. Let's go to SharePoint Admin Center. I'm logged in here to Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Let's go to SharePoint. In SharePoint Admin Center, click Active Sites. Now here you will see the list of these sites. Those are associated with each team. We are working on test two team. We can see this is associated with a team. So let's click on this site link. Click documents. Now here you can see the name of the team channels. If you go back to teams application under test two team, we have these four channels general channel two, channel three to one and test channel. Same thing we can see in SharePoint document library. We have a folder for each channel and if we click channel two, we can see the channel files here. If you want to open the files location directly from Teams application, within Teams application and within channel setting, click on these three dots and click open in SharePoint. You will be redirected to the location where these files are stored. So if you found this video helpful and informative, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.